Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this episode, Pete Forrester is getting a second chance on the dyno. But before we get too deep into today's video, let's roll the intro. We're here at MB Developments and now we're gonna go for the second round of the of trying to tune the Forester. We had a couple of issues but uh, yeah let's see what we did. So Pete, how much how much brake horsepower do you think we're gonna need? What's so last time, time it was 397. We just remember yeah we just remember what Matt said about the turbo so I'm trying to remember what I said to you last time before it came in. <laughs> So 397 is what he made last. So I'm I think gonna say I said it was gonna be around about 400 and about 480. All right, you 480. I'm gonna go 452, and we'll see what happens. Four and a half. Yeah, it can't four and a half, didn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah around the top, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's just over four and then. And it can't it's top, not isn't it? Four and a half. What should we go down to that?
I think that was the uh, battle ram from last time. So it was 396 and 391. beginning of the video i mentioned that we had issues with the car i'm not here to talk shit about people i'm not going to say who did it right who did it wrong basically the biggest issue we had is the turbo itself let's say just to put it like that just to put it easy that when it was put back together wasn't put back together the best way possible let's just leave it there i'm not going to talk more shit about that that's what it is and MB developers managed to save it, managed to uh, go a few, do a few good pulls with the car and even though the turbo wasn't 100% healthy, he managed to make, I think it was 425 brake, so that's quite a lot more than it did before. I know I did title the video, rebuilding or building a 500 brake horsepower EJ, but the thing is, sometimes you shoot for the moon and sometimes you don't get there. Maybe later on down the road we will try to chase that 500 again but at the minute what we're going to do with the car what Pete is going to do with the car is enjoy hopefully take as many meets as he can I think he's going to take it on to Santa Paul this weekend so if you get any videos on the next video that I make about the Forester I will include them for you to watch and as you can see right here I got four tires and wheels which are the ones that I just picked up from uh, Ben's house which it was a fucking bollock to get back because it took me over two hours to actually come back from his house all the way on the M6. It was horrible. And it wasn't even rush hour, but well, after four hour round trip and here I have the new wheels, or new to me. We're gonna probably, I'm thinking we might actually refer them, but if you wanna find out what wheels they are, stay tuned for the next video because it's gonna be back on my Forester. I've been gathering quite a lot of parts and actually Lee and myself got a um, spring compressor so we can actually get a shock assembly out, compress it, put the new shocks in and we're going to be able to do all that in-house so we don't have to spend more money. So stay tuned for that, I'm very very excited, I can't wait to get it back on the road. But this video is not about this Forester, it's about Pete's Forester, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, I know it was a bit of a short video, but we didn't have enough time to actually go for a drive and do some shots and stuff like that, but that will come this year at some point with as many Foresters as I can. But as usual, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing if you do, and I shall see you very shortly.